Hello, I'm Professor Stephen Abbott. My free ebook, Surfactant Science Principles and Practice, is linked to a large series of apps on my Practical Surfactants website. In this video, we look at how we should think about surfactants using nine simple graphics. Here's the problem. We want to choose the right surfactant for a new formulation. But which one do we choose? Do we choose SLS or CAT5 or AOT or Tween? The problem is, we don't know which ones of these to choose rationally because we're lost in surfactant space without a compass. There's no shortage of information out there. There are books with whole lists of surfactants. Manufacturers will provide you with tables of their surfactants, and they'll tell you that this given surfactant is a great emulsifier, which is actually meaningless. And they might give you CMC values, which aren't of much use, and HLB values, which are just plain wrong. So there's too little useful information out there. The key is that surfactancy is a balance. It's a balance between what's happening in the water phase with the surfactant, with salts, with oils and temperatures. Now, if surfactancy is a balance, why don't we use HLB, hydrophilic, lipophilic balance? The reason is that HLB is a value for the surfactant, whereas balance is a function of the system. So HLB must be plain wrong because it's trying to apply a system value to the surfactant. So if HLB is wrong, what's correct? The answer is HLD, hydrophilic lipophilic difference. This simple formula tells you that HLD equals salinity, saltiness, minus the oiliness, EACN, minus a temperature dependent effect on the, the difference from 25 degrees, and on the characteristic value of a given surfactant. So you know the surfactant CC, you know your difference in temperature, you know your oil, and you know your salinity, so you can calculate the HLD. What does it mean? Well, when HLD equals zero, you have a balanced system, a type three microemulsion phase. When HLD is greater than zero, then you have a water and oil phase. When it's less than zero, you have a typical oil and water emulsion. So you can see that you can tune the whole system the way you want. You can change the surfactant knowing it's CC to tip the balance in the direction you want. If you add to HLD NAC, net average curvature, then you get even more predictive power. You can actually predict fish diagrams, extended oil recovery, emulsion behavior, phase inversion formulations, asphalt ripening, and even phase diagrams. We can also do more. Here's the famous plot of surface tension versus surfactant concentration, and people use this to get the CMC value. But this plot tells you much more like gamma M and elasticity. So let's understand these plots to get more useful information than merely CMC. And we can also examine dynamic surface tension. Phase diagrams are hugely useful for surfactants, but most of us are scared of them. I certainly was very confused. By having a set of phase diagram apps, you get to understand what they mean, how to navigate through them, and then how to use them. And finally, we can explore foam science. We can look at the rheology of foams. We can look at asphalt ripening as the bubbles grow. Foam drainage. Discuss antifoams. And we can end the whole thing with the discussion of how to make the perfect latte.